All right, in this video, I want to introduce a couple of the eukaryotic microbes. So the ones I want to talk about specifically are the fungi, which we're talking about yeast and molds are examples, and the protists. Okay, in the protists, you have algae, which we can think of as single-celled plants, and protozoa, which we can think of as single-celled animals. All right, now, what are the common traits to fungi? So what kind of traits do these um, eukaryotic microbes have? Well, they have what's known as absorptive nutrition, okay? And that is they secrete enzymes into the environment and um, these enzymes break down nutrients and then the fungi essentially absorb or the fungus essentially absorbs the, the um, broken down nutrients, all right? They also have hyphae, which is a thread-like filament forming the mycelium of the fungus, okay? So they also have hyphae. They have cell walls compo composed of uh, chitin, chitin. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. I apologize. Um, there are chemoheterotrophs. So any organism that oxidizes organic molecules to obtain energy is a chemoheterotroph. All right. Um, and if you're talking about unicellular fungi, we're talking about yeast a lot of times. Yeast is one of our model organisms. It um, has some similarities to human cells and um, is often used in experiments involving, you know, genes, whether it's genomics or it's um, some kind of other process, we can use yeast as kind of a model organism. It's very well studied. Um, they're also chemoheterotrophs and they reproduce by this unique um, type of reproduction called budding. And it's a form of reproduction in which mitosis of the mother cell generates daughter cells of unequal size, okay? And just a little tidbit about the protists here. They are single-celled, motile eukaryotes, all right? So they can move. And they have no cell wall, so think about that. That makes a lot of sense because if you don't have a cell wall, cell walls introduce rigidity to cells. They make cells more rigid. And if something's more rigid, it's going to be less able to move. So by not having the cell wall, um, they are able to, you know, move around. They're also chemoheterotrophs, and algae, which is a which is a specific type of protist, is a or photoautotrophs. Okay, that is, they use carbon dioxide as their source of carbon, and um, they go through a process of photosynthesis involving, you know, light energy from the sun. And um, an example might be. Um, So regardless, I mean, these are, these are some kind of basic facts about protists and fungi, um, you know, j just to kind of give people an idea of what's going on here in, in terms of the, 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 the diversity of microbes, okay, and the different types of microbes that can be studied.